Just off the tourist mecca of Cancun lies the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System. It stretches all the way south to Honduras and is second in size only to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. But like many reefs, it faces threats from pollution and warming ocean temperatures and overfishing. Add to that the pressure of hundreds of thousands of tourists visiting the area's waters and the reef's days could be numbered. Jason DeCarey's Taylor is trying to help in a novel way, through art. The, the sculptures are actually designed to become artificial reef units. Um, the cement structure that you see behind me is actually um, a special type of marine grade cement um, that's engineered to uh, attract corals. So um, corals adhere to it, they grow, they uh, make different formation. Uh, that in turn encourages fish and, and other marine life. His still ongoing project is sinking some 400 of these sculptures in nearly 30 feet of water. And in just a few months, the statues already attract a wide variety of life. Already there's, I think, over a thousand different fish living on them. There's lobsters, there's uh, big schools of angelfish, um, and there's a, a big coating of uh, algae, which is one of the first things to, to settle. Taylor says the colorful display indirectly helps the natural reefs. This particular area of Mexico receives a, a, a colossal amount of visitors every year, I think over 750,000, and that puts a lot of pressure on the existing, existing reefs. Um, so part of this project is actually to sort of discharge those people away from the natural reefs and, and bring them to uh, an area of artificial reefs. The layout is important. Basically, Taylor envisions a big neighborhood for fish and other creatures. The configuration attracts fish, so um, there's huge schools of fish which actually live above the sculptures and then if there's any sort of predators or any danger then they drop below and, and sort of hide out in the feet area, um, which is kind of the idea, of, uh, you know, around that positioning. The museum is attracting a growing number of divers. Visitors need to go by boat to reach this spot between Cancun and Isla de Mujeres. The area's dive tour providers are hoping the site both boosts business and helps maintain the health of the reefs. This is the perfect balance where we're protecting the reef, we're bringing tourists into the natural area, we're providing art to make it beautiful, and all together will help. The museum plans to continue adding sculptures as funding is available. The main installation of 400 statues, Silent Evolution, won't really ever be finished, since the marine life will keep adding touches for centuries. Art and the beauty of the natural world, together may offer a means of helping preserve marine life.